Uh, today I am running, uh, basically installed in the bathroom. Uh, this here pipe is a, is a, is a bathroom pipe that uh, we're going to be removing. This is an inch and a half pipe, ABS, and it runs onto the floor as well as to the, uh, this drain here is a four inch uh, toilet that's going to be there. We're going to be removing up both these lines and uh, basically taking uh, this over here is uh, the, where you see this is a torpedo level is on. Is basically where the original drain for the uh, for the shower was going to be. Now this is a, uh, a bathtub system that was originally going to be inside here. So uh, other than that, uh, we're going to take this bathroom system, we're going to take this uh, uh, right where the drain is for uh, where the torpedo level is, we're going to be moving that over to this corner over here. Uh, from there, we've measured 55 and uh, 1 inches go in this direction, and measure the same direction from here to here, and the same thing over there. Here, we've got a piece of uh, wood that uh, it's can be any length at all, as long as you're going to be able to uh, maneuver yourself around objects going to be in your way. So make sure that the piece of wood is long enough to work something that you can use. At one hand, I have drilled a hole. I've drilled a hole into this really thin beam right piece of pine, uh, pine here. This can use any sort of wood, even a broomstick will work. And you drill a hole to the end right here. Now you have to measure from this end to this end right here. And this is about three, it's about uh, five thirty second. Alright, so from this end to here is going to be 532nd. So from here to here, I measure it was actually just calculated to be 532nd. So when you put it in the hole where you can be measuring the uh, bathtub from, you put it here, you line yourself up. As you know, I know this mine is quite long. Alright, now if you line yourself up, uh, this thing is going to give you a point, a starting point. Alright, so right where that nail is, is going to give you a starting point. So we we'll place the nail in the position that we're going to be starting. So for this one here, I'm going to be starting uh, basically dead on and center. Because from here, I've measured, I uh, used thick lines to show you, but it's right in the center of chalk lines. And this is just basically just to show you uh, what's, going to, what's going to be uh, done here. Okay? So this line here, as well, run all the way down. This represent of the uh, wall that's going to be here, and I run two lines. One represent the uh, drywall that's going to be in there as well. So that's why this line kind of get a little bit fat because uh, I don't know. I guess my line was a bit uh, a tiny bit off, but don't worry about that. I mean, as long as you got a basis for where you think you're going to be starting. So from there, we know that the drywall is going to be at least a half an inch out from this wall. So basically, you mark off an half an inch where it's going to be, and then you can come off from right there. Now this is your basis point for where your center is going to be. Alright, so now the nail is going to be there, it's going to be placed on the floor, see, right on the floor, in the corner where it's supposed to be. From there, we're going to draw us a circle, connecting those originally 55.1 inches, alright, you're going to be running it all the way around to the other 55.1 uh, inches over here.